everyone's help counting this one down. Remember, 75 minutes this race is 75 minutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that was Al Cowan, the next race in the Apollo Racing Series. Fubar in the lead into turn one, now pulling away. Flavor Ice, second place. Grizzle Racing rounding up second and third. The Sand Collar pulling in fourth. And we already have the Lego car on the 555 backing up into turn one. Oh no! <laughs> Not even into one, turn one. And we're already He's here in the tires. I don't even know how that happens. The Sand Collar is backing up because of it. Can you move? Oh no, they're, they're dead in the water. I don't even know what happened with them. They didn't even no, survive. Pull it over. There you yeah, go. Gotta get it over. There we go. Not too much. Let's clear the track. That does not vote well for me, Patrick. Get off the track, my track marker. Let's get back racing. Alright, green again. Big oh, change. I'm, five smelling, five. I'm smelling burnt out something over here. I'm not sure that's got to be their car. Is that, no. Is that what I'm smelling? I'm smelling something burning. No, wait a minute. I think, is it duck? Oh, so? the fire truck in. Where's the oh, fire voice oh. again? Oh. Is this, is this pile up in the back? This is what we're going to be seeing now. This is going to be an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, I think the fire truck is out. Patrick, this is a, we're three laps in. There's, we got two cars out. Not even the start of the race. Holy smokes. Patrick, this is going to be a long race if this is the kind of thing. And meanwhile, where's those behind the two Mario Karts? Making its way through, that's the second place car. We have a stitch to third. Right now, Duct Tape and Zip Ties is in fourth. Kansas City's car is in fourth right now. And they're going to be under attack by the Sand Crawler right there. You see the Sand Crawler going in for a position for fourth right now. Into turn one, Sand Crawler now in fourth place. But Kansas City's not giving up. Kansas City on the outside, but turned close by the Sand Crawler now. Locking in the position, that overtake. And now the Lego car. What's the go? The Lego car is out. Oh, Lego car, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going with that thing? That is not the pit stop. No, it isn't. What are you doing? The girls oh, now are going down the them. wrong way down pit lane. Uh-oh, it looks like a Mario Kart. Mario Kart is out too. Already. Patrick, this is just the start. No, wait. No, yeah, they're out. They're dead. No, oh, no. They're still going. That is too An ambitious. extremely slow rate. Very slow. Oh, uh, they look slower than they were yesterday. Patrick, I was talking to the pit crew. They're wanting lower power for this race because it overheats with the amount of power they had yesterday. The motor was glowing hot when they pulled in at the end of 35 laps. And I can't help but notice they also have two hoppers of ice on the back. That's true, Patrick. For those of you who weren't here yesterday, the PS1 car, that one Mario Kart with the strangeness attached to it, that car finished the race fourth and third. However, the motor was overheating so bad that it could not survive a long race. That car is now set up for the 75 minute race. Keep in mind, we raced 35 laps yesterday and the cars were overheating and breaking. Today, the lead car will finish with over 200 laps. Yes, 200 actual laps in this race. Not joking. It's a long haul, which is very shocking for us that we already have so many cars in the pits right now. That is uncharacteristic. But these are newer teams, and that's something that we've noticed so far for the weekend. The leader right now, Fubar, with Flavor Ice in second. So first place, that green machine from New Jersey. Second place is coming out right now, Team Flavor Ice from Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's your second place car, diving into turn one expertly. Lilo and Stitch right now is in third, directly ahead of it, about to fall a lap down. Sandcrawler, actually Sandcrawler is that ha has completed overtake. I just rechecked the lap timer. Sand Sandcrawler is Sand Sand now third. Milwaukee Makerspace has some pretty good pace, Patrick. Have you seen that? 
Yeah, duck tie. Currently duck six. Pretty good. Oh, and look and duct tape and zip ties. That's six and seven. Patrick, that gray and or, uh, brown machine hematite right there with the yellow letter. That put us in fifth place right now. It's been quiet all weekend, but it's actually crawling its way up. So many cars are breaking that consistency really matters at this point. Oh no, poor duct tape and zip ties got stuck behind some uh, slow cars. That's right, they have. They're right breathing down the neck of Duck Fight the Six, but now Duck uh, wow. pulled ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay attention to Flavor Ice for a second here. They're trying to catch Fubar, which is right there right now. There's first place going by. Second place, watch him make his way through this traffic here. Watch Flavor Ice get through. Catching Fubar Labs. Kansas City currently is standing in. Flavor is looking to pass Lilo and Stitch. Kansas City. Kansas City unfortunately in seventh place right now behind the Mario Kart. Oh, really heavy blade breaking into turn one, just narrowly escaping a collision. Patrick, like we were saying earlier, it's a lot about not just being fast, but how do you manage your way through the traffic? There's a lot of slow cars in this race. Going right. Join from Oxy. Flavor Ice and Fubar now all on the same lap. Remember folks, the Moxie board is out there. Your votes matter. Your votes are powering Sandcrawler right now. Giving them the extra boost to win the weekend. They might not win folks. You know, Fubar set a 15.486 lap. The fastest lap of this day. The fastest lap even faster than yesterday in qualifying. That beat pole position. They did. They had a sun. Uh, huge pile up. How did he hit that pile up? Pile up? Time, I think he got lost. I, I don't know. Is his GPS on? There he goes. Patrick. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like uh, the Midwest Stunners. Oh, no, they're going away. It is very slow. Patrick. Yesterday, Kubar Labs had the pole position with the 1710, that's 17 seconds around this track. They have beaten their pole, they are at a 15 second lap. They're running a faster pace than at the beginning of the weekend. So what does that mean, Patrick? When they have an endurance race, why are they putting the fastest laps down? I have a feeling he's got the red mist is what it is. Patrick, I've also noticed his lap times are very close to Flavor Ice. I have a feeling that the second place car is putting enough pressure on Fubar Labs that they're panicking. That's right, he's catching up. He was about three quarters of the lap down, now he's only half a lap. Yeah, he is closing in. That, that, that time distance is only a couple of seconds. Right now. He was two seconds faster on this last lap. And that's with Fubar pushing as hard as they can. And clean air now for for Flavor Ice, they now have the track to themselves. They can really put down hot laps. Well, Fubar is all in the backup. First and second is about to have a battle. Oh, no. But, oh, uh, it looks like the fire truck's having problems. The fire truck trying to come out. Put the hands. Get the fire truck off. Fire Get truck it. reversing into pit lane. Uh, Patrick track is clear. That's putting Flavor Ice right next to Fubar now. First and second, ladies and gentlemen, are now right on top of each other. Now they're both going through traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the blue and the green car and how they have to navigate through the Moxie vehicles. Fubar on the outside, Flavor Ice down the outside. Fubar now pulling away, power sliding through the S's there. Do you see them? Lilo and Stitch in third place there. Pulling off the sand crawler. Now it's Fubar with the clean air pulling away. The reverse has happened. Sand crawler stuck behind Mario Kart. It's Star Wars versus Nintendo. It is. Star Wars taking the lead. Kansas City pulling over in the middle of track. I think with an infraction or is it a, a problem? I'm not sure. Rick, did you penalize them? No, it's just an issue with their car. They're going to lose a, a few positions right here. They're going to fall. Eighth place is going to be taken in two laps from the Mario Kart right there. Oh, no. That's a position they're about to lose. Patrick, Milwaukee Makerspace has pretty decent pace today. Duffy's in sixth place. They do. Hematite, the, the silver and brown machine out there. You know, I think they're ahead of them. 
Mario Kart is doing. Mario Kart's going a conservative battery, battery strategy. Instead That's of running 36 volts, going 24 to last longer. Well, the way, the way the teams are racing right now, it's anyone's bet how this is going to spill out. A lot of teams are really pushing harder than I expected in this race. It's very surprising knowing that they have so much time on the track. We've seen other cars do that strategy uh, where they start conservative, wait for all the cars to drop out and break, and then at the end of the race, throw in more power and overtake. Patrick, I think uh, Rizzo Racing has picked up that cue. They are, it looks like they are backing off, and Fubar Labs has now built a strong enough lead on them to hold things off for this. They've now completed around that. That's right, uh, Fubar Labs, almost a full lap ahead of them. That's right. They're catching up, they're gonna possibly lap them. But like I said, we'll have one lap up on second place. Leo and Sick and Sandcaller. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! There goes the lap! Hoover Labs just lapping now Flavor Ice. Second place. Midwest Stoner is getting tied up in them. Getting into trouble now. That really was fortunate. That cost Flavor Ice about half a lap. Oh no, Midwest Stoner's again! Notice these you guys, what's, is there something wrong with your steering? Get your car off the track and fix it. You got time to fix it. We have got a long race to have. I don't know what the problem is there. I'm not sure either. We'll have to find out. Oh, there seems to be a black flag out now for... Oh no! CCC Casey! What not, did you guys do? Not sure what they did. The hometown heroes have made some sort of infraction. Well, let's see what kind of penalty they're going to get. Let's see. Oh, they're going to do jumping jacks. Jack. You know what I think? It may have been passing under caution, I think, is what the point was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was. you can't pass under caution. Passing under caution, got to do some jumping jacks. Can't do that, Patrick. You can't do Let's that. Let's get him back in. Oh, no, that means the Mario Kart is now past them. CCC Casey has lost the position to the Mario Kart. You can't pass under caution. No. And they got penalized at least one spot to go from 7th to 8th place. The Milwaukee's getting a little bit aggressive. They're squeezing their way through. I just saw them make the pass up here. That was a close call right against the tire wall. Inches away, but less than an inch away. But they made it through. They, they, they eat on pass. Who of our labs is just grinning right now. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen anyone that happy from New Jersey in a long time. <laughs> no, no, not since they reopened those bridges. Patrick, that might be the secret. All the traffic they have to manage, it's it's intuition to them now. So many backups. In fact, two minutes the driver change. Two minutes to our first driver change. Every 15 minutes these cars have to pull in and change drivers, or at least change costumes. All right. First driver change in our 75 minute endurance lap. All right. So Lego car just managing up. Oh. One of the tires oh, is going the flat. Traffic there coming down the stream here. Wait, Patrick, which tire is going flat? Oh. Which one? Which one? They're both looking a little bit soggy. They look like Rice Krispies left out for too long. Very so poor Lego car. He's only done four laps. Four laps for rapid chargers, but they can get back with your boxy points, remember. That's a big gulf to make up. Well, if there's one thing they can do, it. a giant Lego car is strong, strong Moxie favorites. If Lego car crawls into the pit, here's the story so far before the first stint begins. Fubar Labs holding out, holding a very strong answer to Rizzo Racing second place. The Flavor Ice. That's making zip ties now in the pit lane. Oh no, they're losing more spots. Blue Island Space is going to overtake them now. One minute to driver change, one minute to driver change. This is the Power Racing Series. We modify power wheels for less than $500. That's right, if you just joined us, this is a coast-to-coast -coast national nationwide racing series. And you are witnessing the best way to spend dumb time. Oh, and we got a lot of mess up here in the turn one. Oh, and the, the unmodified Mario oh, no. Oh, the leader behind with Milwaukee. Just before the, the change for drivers. Get on, get on tape, guys. There you go. All right. 
There we go, back underway. That's just before driver change though, Patrick. That's right, 15 seconds. Just a few seconds left, and then everyone, you want to pay attention to what happens in the pits next. Looks like Duck Tape and Zip Bags have come out. Only to go right back in with the driver change. <laughs> driver change, mandatory driver change, everybody has the pit. All right, everybody Patrick. come back in. Let's see who are the first to come out. Jim, like, give me a pit report if you could. All right, Patrick, I'm heading into the pit lanes. For those of you watching, head on down over here and give a, give a good dander. We have the leaders, who are laps pulling in first. Flavor Ice pulled in first ahead of them. That's your second place car, and they're getting out right now ahead of time. Who are laps now at second place? That's a half a lap gain for Flavor Ice from that. Big advantage to Flavor Ice at this point. But Flavor Ice has Pete driving. He's only put a few laps behind that. Oh, Flavor is looking really squirrely out there with a the new driver. That's right. Five by five timer out, sand crawl out. Relatively fast stops, Patrick, for a lot of new teams. I'm very, very impressed with the pit stops right now. Oh, wait a minute. One of the cars just threw a, a, a ball out into the audience there. That's right. It looks like the beach ball has been deployed in the race. Looks like most everybody's back out now. Patrick, those were really fast pit stops, even from the new team. That was pretty good. That was, uh, I think everybody was sub minute there. Patrick, I think, I didn't see anybody do a battery change yet. No, I don't think so. So some of the teams are going to go another 15 years before their first battery change. So the next stint is going to be very interesting. We might see them in there for a very long time. On the Lego car, just making its way. Oh no, something fell off the car. It looks like an audio cable. Yeah, there seems to be an audio cable. I wonder if that's from the PS1 car. They had an audio system. They, they do have an audio system. If that's the case, I don't know whose it is. Maybe it's Lego's audio system. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Lego's audio audio cable fell off the car. Yeah, my Obviously, it's car. not important. And you know what? It's setting weight. It's getting, it's not faster. Poor Lego car still in last place though. How's the back of the field looking right now? Back of the field is looking, uh, well, I mean, Lego car is back there, but Fubar now putting its 50th lap down. Lego car with only seven. So there's a big difference between first and last, but most cars have at least 20 laps down. In fact, uh, between second and sixth place, there's only a seven lap difference. Fire truck is in the pits yet again. Right. Mar oh no. That means so one of the Mario parts. If it's at, at, uh, no, the other Mario part. Oh, and the 555 timer again in the wall. It loves the wall, it seems. I That's the third time I've seen it hit the wall on its own accord. Not with anyone around it, just taking the wall. I don't know if they're cutting the corner too tight or something. I don't understand. Maybe they have a lot of understeer. It's, it's very hard to tell. Patrick, I'm noticing a theme here. I am? And I'm noticing a, a... I might be smelling one of the cars right now. I'm not entirely sure. Do you? I might smell a, a motor. It smells like a motor right now. Oh. I don't know who, though. But every, one, every time the wind changes direction, I'm smelling it. And Fubar Labs sweeping by. Second place car getting stuck. Fubar Labs is now just putting on a clinic right now. Oh, and CC Casey's having problems yet again. Oh no, CC Casey having to get pushed off. back in the head. The Grim is shaking his head in dismay over something. He is not satisfied with what's going on right now. He didn't there. like my horn boys. He's giving me a dirty look. I think he wants you to take uh, longer cautions or not at all. I think local area cautions yeah. might want to. No, he does not approve of my uh, my horn boy. I don't. He doesn't want me to toot my own horn. I, I can see why. I can see why. It only plays one note. 
Patrick, turn one is turning into turning itself into squeaky corner. Oh, there's a Lego piece on the track, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> There's debris. We're not debris. Oh, so we won't throw a caution for that. Oh, the Lego car lost the panel. Uh, they lost some. Oh, they seem to have lost a lot more than what I thought they lost. As I stare down one of the cars going at full speed. They've lost, they've lost the, some body work. Will that help you at any point? No? I don't think that's going to make them any faster, you guys. Oh, and we have a flip over hematite right there. Oh, no. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, and PS1's now stuck in the back. Oh, no. And they just can't move? I don't know. very slow. Very slow. I, can't, I think the minute they hit a wall, all the momentum they have because the gear just goes away. How are you so slow? <laughs> oh, and Hematite again, collecting tires, just taking the track apart, taking it with them. That's got to be a rebuilt. PS1's going to the pits. Going to pits. Maybe Maybe to put some water in their water cooling. Might be overheating, Patrick. Put some water in that water cooling. Kansas there City you know. coming back out of the pits. And not caution. That is Milwaukee Maker Space doing some damage to the tire wall. Looks like that's underway again. Oh, and they're going this is getting a penalty. Not sure. Oh no, what'd you do? I don't know, it might be aggressive driving. That seems to be the common penalty for today. Oh, and were they the ones who put Milwaukee yep. in the wall? We're getting them to do the chicken dance. Yep, that is the chicken oh. dance penalty. On oh, Lego car, again the wall. Really loving that part of the wall. Lego car just can't make that turn, I think. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words with that. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, those tires. How are those that tires? penalty has cost Lilo and Stitch third place. Wow, that is, that is a stiff penalty there. Nick! Sandcrawler was all over that. Sandcrawler capitalized on it. Lilo and Stitch with a little bit of overly aggressive racing. And we'll lose the podium spot. Oh, and second place is in the pits. I'm not sure what's wrong, but that's the second place car, Patrick. Flavor X is in the pits right now. I don't know what it's going on. Trying to diagnose something. Yeah, I'm not sure, but that's the second place car. Oh no. Sandcrawler is now going to make up some time against second place. Sandcrawler. How many laps can it put down? Sandcrawler now has its game face on. Suddenly realizing it has a shot at second. Oh, and a collision there, Pony Station 1 in the wall, yet again, I don't know why, but it's happening. Taking corners a little bit too tight there. Patrick, there seems to be some hammering going on. A lot of it. Yeah. One of the other Mario Kart's being worked on, the, uh, the Midwest Stunners also in the pits for an extended period of time. Um, I don't think the burger's coming out at all today, it seems. And right now, Sandcaller's putting laps on Flavor Ice. Sandcaller might get second place soon, Patrick. Only, a, only a three more laps for Sandcaller, and that is your new second place car. That's right. And that also means Leo and Stitch moves back up to third. Yeah. The force is getting stronger with the sandcrawler every lap they complete. They're also running on a lower power strategy. It's clear that they're not their top end is a lot lower than yesterday. Looks like Scott Rizzo's working desperately on the flavor ice. They may have melted, I think, their motor. Oh, the cooling fan broke. Oh no. They, yep, they've overheated. They've melted, melting their flavor ice. Here comes Sandcrawler one more time. Lots of squeaking from the Hematite car, the West themed ma machine. You know, with the uh, flavor ice having issues. Oh, we have PS1 again in the wall. No, it's moving. Oh, it's enough duck pulled in too tight around that hairpin. There we go, everyone's moving. It's real tight around there. 
Right, it's just the slow cars now coming down the back sides, every single one of them. Slow around. I don't know why everyone's going so slow. Oh, something's wrong with third, second. Third place now was going to be Sand second place. Color. Yeah, what happened? You guys, you moved up to third. Patrick, this is unbelievable. Our second and third place cars are now going to get pushed back in. Patrick, they are in. We love stitches now taking second place. Oh, and spoke too soon. It's the Midwest Stunners again. Back, they they went out. figure out what? Out for like less than a lap and they immediately got you into the Can you not figure out how to make a turn, guys? I don't know if they know how to do it anymore. Seriously, guys. No. The real slow out there, too. Sandcrawler was running lower on power. I thought it was part of their strategy, but they weren't. No. So so now, now here's the shake-up. Hoobar still first. Lilo and Stitch moving up to second. Hematite now up to third and Chuck up to wow. fourth. Wow. Flavor Ice now falling down to fifth. The same thing with Sandcrawler oh, down to and sixth. And the tire wall. They suffered a flip earlier today and hit the tire wall for the third time today. But they are moving into third place despite all of that. In spite of all of it, really. And are they still it's in the Midwest Stunners again? Did they go around or are they just hanging out there? I don't know what's happening. Do, do you guys know how to make a turn? Do, do you need instruction on how to drive? Are you good? We're still under green. Yeah, we're still green. Wow. So right now... Only seven cars out. We started with 13. Lots of attrition right now. We're, we're hitting our 50% attrition rate. Yeah. And we're not even halfway through this race. Oh, and Midwest Stunners again. Midwest Stunners, they're having problems making corners. What's going on, guys? You gotta get the car off the track. If you cannot complete a lap, you cannot be out there Come like on. that. Oh, no. I think it's something, there must be something wrong with the steering. I think something's really wrong up on the steering. I don't All know right. what. Three minutes to driver change, three minutes to driver change. This is our second driver change. Every 15 minutes these cars have to pit and change drivers or at least change costumes. Patrick, we're going to see you and find out what's going on with our one second and third place cars. Very surprising turnout here. I and mean, oh, we did not expect this. But I'm going to see if I can get down to the get down to the story, Patrick. I'm heading to second. Sandcrawler's pit right now. If anyone could yell at me, what's happening? We find something in our car we're not sure what it is. Uh, there's some multipliers in there. So, so diagnosing that, they don't know yet, which is very dramatic for them. Let's go over to Rizzo Racing and see if they've diagnosed their problem yet. Scott, can you give us a rundown while it's... We put the controller, uh, our cooling fan went out, the controller overheated, so we're uh, swapping out controllers and should uh, hopefully be back in another couple laps. Another couple of others are racing, they might get out first before the sand crawlers because they're still diagnosing the problem. I already see the new controller on Rizzo Racing, so like I said folks, it's not over till it's over. These cars are not out. They are being fixed right now on the spot, and you can watch them making their cars better as the race goes on. That's the Part of endurance racing that is the most surprising and exciting is a lot of the actions inside the pits right now. But yeah, something as simple, Patrick, as a fan going out, really the far more expensive part. Far more valuable part, at least. That's right, without a motor controller, they can't move. Patrick, am, am I seeing this right? Is Milwaukee Makers That's space? right, Duck! Duck is past Lulu and Stitch! Oh my goodness! Milwaukee has moved up to second place! Milwaukee Makerspace is in second! Though so the Lilo and Stitch is hot on their tail! Milwaukee Makerspace, the team that hasn't... Oh, wait, oh, no, no! What's going on with that? What's, are you, are you kidding? Are you serious? No, you had second! You're in second! What happened? Patrick, is there anyone in this racing league that wants to finish second? Nobody wants it, it seems. Everyone breaks the minute they get into second place. The last three cars, the second that they passed into second position, they immediately broke down. The Duck may be able to pass some uh, lap cars and hopefully 
clear traffic, maybe you can catch up to Lilo and Stitch. So those of you just joining us, this is the Power Racing Series, under $500 electric car, where you take a power wheel and modify it into something crazy.